Good day everyone! Today I will be teaching you Photoshop 101. In this tutorial, you will be learning the basic tools you need to know about Photoshop. Before you proceed, if you haven't been subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button below this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. So, if you want to learn how to use Photoshop, then just keep on watching. By the way, I'm using Photoshop CC 2015. My view is on standard screen mode, just so we have the same screen mode. And now I'll be making a new canvas. So my size would be by 1000 and just click OK. All right, so I'll just double click this so that um, will not be, this layer will not be locked. And let's proceed to the first tool. The first tool you can see on the left side of your monitor is the move tool. Basically, this tool is used to move some objects. For example, we have a background. So I'll just copy this in Google and paste it in my Photoshop control V. Okay, so if I have the move tool selected, I can select a layer that has been that is selected. But if I'm going to have a new layer, for example, this one, or this one, I click copy and then paste. So as you can see here on the right side, you created a new layer by pasting a new image, and then you can select it. You cannot move um, the other image with stones because this layer is not selected. So if you want to move it, so just select the layer where it was. Let's just hide this by clicking this little eye icon. Okay. And then the next one is the rectangular marquee tool. Basically what it does is when you click and drag it, so you have a broken line here. And now for example, I'm going to select the stones. Just click and drag in the stones. And just click the right click. Um, bottom of your mouse, layer via copy. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, it was the wrong layer because remember this layer is selected. So whenever you're working to a certain layer, make sure that you select that layer. Okay. So I select it, right click, and copy. So as you can see here, a new layer is created. That's the layer that you copied and just Click the move tool so you can move the stone that you copied using the marquee rectangular tool. I'll just delete this layer. Okay, so basically that's how it works. Next one is the lasso tool. The lasso tool is um, it's like the marquee rectangular tool except it's not a um, rectangle. You can make your own shape like that. You can trace it. Trace a stone whatever shape you want okay and then right click layer via copy oops um you can copy it because the layer that has been selected is the copied layer using the rectangular marquee tool so just select this layer again right click copy and click the move tool all right so that's how it works so let's delete these two layers that has been created and next one is the magic one tool. So, paste it here. So, just click on the white part, and all the white part will be selected. I'll just press Ctrl plus plus to zoom it in so that you can see. And if you want to delete, for instance, you want to delete that background, you just click the delete button. The delete, I mean, the delete key on your keyboard. And Ctrl D to deselect. So that's how the magic one tool works. And okay, for the next tool, this is the crop tool. I think everyone knows this. It's like cropping an image in your iPhone or in your Android. Right? So let's just don't crop. Control minus minus to zoom in. And just click the crop tool. And if you want to crop your canvas, you can just drag it like that. And 
make it bigger okay so that's how the crop tool works the next one is the um, eyedropper tool this eyedropper tool basically gets the color that you want to get in a certain part of an image for example i want to get um this this green color right, or this this one so as you can see here on the um, lower left of my monitor the color is changing whatever um, color i'm selecting it changes so that's how the eyedropper tool works next is the spot healing tool okay this spot healing tool works with um, um editing a photo just like this for example you want to get rid of some spots on the face you can use the spot healing tool you just click it Control plus plus to zoom it in just so you can see and then okay select the spot healing tool and if you want to get rid of this acne over here so it can be removed using the spot healing tool all right so that's how it works and next tool is the brush tool so the brush tool is when you select it and you click right click you can see um the basic brushes that is um there when you first download photoshop and you can always um download a lot of free brushes in google there's a lot of photoshop brushes where you can download so for this um for example i select this brush and here and my color is green so there that's how you make it or you create a new layer here on the bottom right new layer and this is where you can brush and you can always select another color here okay click right click select another brush that you want and brush it like that that's how it works okay now let's proceed to the next tool this is the clone stamp tool for example like you want to clone a certain part of, of an image if you want to change the size just press the um, right click of your mouse right click of your mouse and change the size here for example on this certain part i want to like um clone the eye all right just make it bigger so that it can get on the eye part all right just click alt the alt button um the alt key on your keyboard and click and then you have to click it where you want to put it one more let's do it. for example we one more let's try cloning the mouth so i'll click and go to the part when you want to put it and click again i'll click on the mouth and go to the part where you want to put it so that's how the clone stop tool works so okay let's just Press Ctrl Alt Z to undo the things that we did. Okay, now let's proceed to the next tool. So the next tool is the History Brush tool. It's it's like a clone stamp. So it it paint back portions of your image to an earlier state. So think of it as a clone stamp tool, but the source is a previous version of your current image. So by default, it will paint back the pixels found on your image when it's first opened. So for example, um, I'm going to be opening an image. So I'll open this image in Photoshop. I'll just right click it and open with Photoshop. So this is the first state of my image. I just double click this so that um, it will be, it will, the layer will not be locked. And for example, I use the brush tool to paint something on my image. Just like that. And then I'll use the um, history brush tool just to... Okay, if I do that, it will um, go back to its previous state. So that's the that's how the history brush tool um, works. Next is the um, eraser tool. Okay, so the eraser tool is basically it just 
erases a certain part of an image like that or okay let's go to the first canvas i made for example i just want to erase the stones okay you can erase that using the eraser tool okay next is the gradient tool so for the gradient tool let's just hide this one with the eye icon over there okay. so this is how the control minus to zoom in this is how the gradient tool works so i just drag it there to make a gradient on the upper left of my monitor, you can see the color of the gradient that you can use here. So you can always change the color. You can always um, have custom color here. Or you can select gradients that you want to use. So if you want to use a gradient where the other side is transparent, use this template. And you can always change the color that you want it. Okay, for example, that one. Okay, let's put it back we're going to uh, create a gradient just create a new layer here on the right bottom right part of the screen and okay just drag it up oh yeah I can see it because it's white so let's change the color let's make it that one and drag it up here and you can always drag here wherever you want to or if you want it to be straight you can just press the shift um, keyboard just shift key on your keyboard and just drag it up drag it down there that's how basically you can make um, a gradient image we'll see next one is the blur tool so i usually use the blur tool whenever there's a pixelated image and i just want it to be smooth or i just want the skin to look smoother so i just press ctrl plus plus and then use the blur tool to like blur certain parts of the image like that so just so it will look smooth that's how the blur tool works Okay, next is the dodge tool. So the dodge tool is um, basically it lightens a certain part of an image. For example, just um, in the lower eye, I want it to be bright. So I just using the dodge tool, I just drag it on the part that I want to be bright. If you want it to be more intense, just go back and forth. <laughs> but that's too much. All right, and if you want to make it like um, darker just right click on the dodge tool icon and select burn tool and as you can see it burns it and it makes it darker so if you want to have a sunburn effect you can do that all right okay so now let's proceed to the next tool the next tool will be the pen tool so this is how the pen tool works okay let's just use the image that i'm using this one okay so the pen tool basically works it's like um it's like cropping um a, cer a certain part of an image for example i want to crop this bamboo so you just click on this point and click on this point then click on this point again and then just drag it a little bit to make a curve and then out and click to that black dot you see and then click again make an arc click make an arc out click and since it's straight it's like that and just go here and there and then right click and and then just select make selection and press ok ok make sure that layer is selected you want that you're editing and then I just press Control Shift I.
just press the just press M and then right click and layer via via copy and as you can see it created a new layer here and that's how the pen tool works move to the next tool that will be the text tool so for this text tool there's horizontal and vertical let's go with the horizontal just select a tool and click it if you click it there it automatically creates a new layer right so you can also use the vertical one just right click on this on text icon click vertical type tool and you can type it vertically you can play with it all right just selecting the move tool and then let's proceed to the next tool the next tool will be the um um, path selection tool for example remember we made um when i when i crop this bamboo okay when i crop this this bamboo remember i created a path okay i want to show you on the right side of your um monitor you can see the paths menu and just click on that okay if you control click on that you can see the path that we made so i'll just i just pressed ctrl v to deselect it if you are um if you are using the um path selection tool you can um yeah there you can move the path that you selected so that that's how it works all right so the next tool will be the um, rectangular tool and other shapes for this rectangular tool I'll just delete all the layers created so it will be clean okay so if you will drag you just create a rectangle there so under properties that appear you can always change the color that you want you can use a gradient or you can use a solid color just like that okay and then you can also select other tools here like the rounded rounded rectangle just drag it there or the ellipse tool here so as as you can see you can perceive with the um as you drag it, the circle is not perfect. It can be an oval like that. But if you want it to be perfect, you can um, press the Shift E and drag it down up just to make a perfect circle. Okay, so how that's how the shape works. And the next tool will be the hand tool. So basically, this hand tool is like when you zoom out your canvas and you want to move it. Can select the hand tool to remove it on certain parts okay let's zoom in again and the next one is the zoom tool it just basically zooms in and zooms out so i think that's it for this tutorial um that's the basic tools that you need to know so you can play you can do whatever you want so it takes practice to learn this and i know um, using photoshop can be helpful for you to edit some images for your projects or or some thumbnails or even you can you can also edit your own photos okay so i hope this tutorial helps and if you want to have more in-depth tutorial about photoshop just comment down below just let me know and i'll be happy to help and this has been Wences Arcales Santos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.